with us at this time? Well, this is one of the stories that I'm trying to get published now. And I wrote the story, and it's about an African boy by the name of Oyebo. Mm. Once there was a little boy who lived in an African village. And he was very small for his age. You see, ever since the day he was born, mm. he had been sickly. And his name was Oyebo. You see, because Oyebo was such a little boy, he was never allowed to go out into the field and work with his father. Nor was he allowed to play with the children because, as we all know, sometimes when children start to play, they can get a bit rough. So Oyebo had to spend every day with his mother. But he didn't mind because Mama was his best friend. One day, as Mama and Oyebo were sitting outside of the hut that was filled with clay pots, Mama said to her son, Oyebo, I want you to stay there and don't move. I'll be back in a minute. I've got something that I have to do. And so Mama took off and went away. Oyebo sat there for a while, and he became very bored, and, and then he became a little more bored, and he started to play with his clothes, and he, and he started to look around, and then, shh, there was a noise coming from the jungle. And Oyebo wanted very badly to go and see what was causing the noise. But when he stood up, the words that Mama said started rolling around in his head. Son, I want you to stay there. I'll be right back. So Oyebo, normally being a very obedient child, he sat back down. But he really did want to go and see what was causing the noise. And so he thought about it and he thought about it. And then he came up with an idea. Oyebo thought that if he went over to the edge of the jungle and he took a few steps in just to see what was causing the noise, then if he counted his steps and took the same amount of steps backwards, he'd be back where Mama said for him to be. Oyebo got up and went into the jungle, listening for the noise. And because there were so many other noises, Oyebo lost count. And he went this way because he thought he heard the noise. And then he went this way. And as you probably figured it out, Oyebo became lost. Mm. At first he started to panic and then, then he remembered other words that Mama had said to him. Mama had said one time that the absence of patience leaves panic. And so Oyebo took a few deep breaths, as Mama had told him to do several times before. And he decided that he was going to look for home. After he walked a ways, he got very tired because Oyebo would normally have to take a nap at this time of day. But he decided, no, I'd better find home because if I don't find home, Mama's going to be very angry. So Oyebo continued to walk, and he walked, and he walked. But instead of finding home, before him stood a vast field full of tall grass. And by this time, Oyebo was exhausted. And he said, like Mama always said, Oh, I think I'll just lay down and rest my eyes for just a little. And then when I get up, I'll feel stronger, and then I'll find home. But you see, when Oyebo laid down, he fell fastly asleep. So, in, in the meantime, back in the village, Mama, whose name was Zenobia, was beside herself. She couldn't find her son. Have you seen my son, Oyebo? She asked everyone that she saw, and no one had seen her son. Till finally, Zenobia went to the chief's hut. And one of the servants said, what is it that you want? She said, I have to find the chief. I have to talk to him. I can't find my son. He's missing. He's been gone for a while now. And the servant went and got the chief. And the chief came out and said, what is it that you want, woman? And she said, I can't find my son. His name is Oyebo. You know, the little one. My name is Zenobia. I can't find my son. And the chief said, where was he the last time that you saw him? And she said, he was out of, outside of the hut, the hut with the clay pots, and I can't find him. And the chief raised his hand to silence her. And he said, how long ago was that? She said, just a little while. And the chief had the servant 
send off a signal, and all of the men from the village came to his hut. And the chief said, Oyebo is missing. You know, the little one, Zenobia's son. Go and find him and bring him back to me.